Did I just give you a section to read? Yeah, but it's more fun to read what you're reading. Why? I don't know. I guess it's the sun thing. It's kind of like it's more fun for me to wear your underwear than mine. <laughs> you know what? I don't want those drawers no more. Baby, burn those drawers. Too. Here, baby. Have a thank sandwich. you. My pleasure. And thank you. You want me to cut it in halfway? Don't mind if you do. <laughs> now feed me, please. Oh, look at you. You're going to make a great mommy. I get a lot of practice with Junior. <laughs> I wish this baby would come. I'm a week late already. Oh, well, you can always go to the hospital and induce it. <laughs> I decided I want to have the baby at home. Ah. <laughs> I decided I want to have my baby at home. I don't think that's a good idea. What if something happens, Vanessa? No, I won't. I've been working with the midwife. She's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope so. You don't want to get caught in a midwife crisis. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> No. Shut it up, right. please, please. This is some serious yes. stuff. What is this woman's name? Pete and Weepa Stapa. Pete and did stop what? It's Indian for summer breeze. Summer breeze? That sounds like a feminine hygiene commercial. I feel so confident in my summer breeze. <laughs> no, silly. She's a complete vegan and yoga master. She worked at Woodstock. Which Woodstock? There's only one Woodstock. Snoopy's friend. He's a bird. <laughs> Listen, take it from a woman who has had three children. Childbirth is no joke. Nope. That's what most women say, but I happen to have a very high threshold for pain. Yeah, and you also happen to be carrying Junior's baby. And have you gotten a look at the size of that head? They may have to give you a C-section, a B-section. They might even flip you over and take some spine out to get that head out. That's what happened to me. Yep. Yeah. That's right. That's why I'm so short. <laughs> confidence in summer breeze. You say that now, but when you're in the thick of it, you're mm. going to want a real good doctor with some real good drugs, not some hippie throwing daisies at you. Michael, will you help me out here, please? No, what do you have to say in this? Yeah, and I'm fine with it. As a matter of fact, here's the best part. Baby, tell the best part. <laughs> We're going to have the baby in the bathtub. Look, call me old school, but I think a baby should be pulled out with some metal tongs smacked on the behind by a doctor the way the good Lord intended. That's right, I agree. Well, no disrespect, but you guys did things your way, and... We're going to do things our way. Oh, Vanessa, please. I think you feel a lot more comfortable once you meet Summer Breeze. She's coming over tomorrow for our final practice birthing session. Well, we can hardly wait. <laughs> Hey. hey, guys. You're late. Sorry, we ran into traffic. Yeah. Oh, please remove your shoes before entering to show respect for the birthing space. I ain't taking off my shoes in my own house. Oh, Michael, will you just do it? Fine. Keeping on my socks, though. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Summer Breeze. <laughs> Namaste. Hey, I'm Michael Kyle, and <laughs> now I must go. I are going to do okay, this. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Okay. Please. You have such a big, beautiful, bright aura. I am seeing lots of yellows and oranges. <laughs> I'm seeing lots of that's a lack of those. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. I've always known I've had oranges and yellows in my aura. I'm going to give you the name Big Sun. That's funny because I already gave it a name. Look, Big Moon. <laughs> One more. You got one more. Isn't it great how intuitive she is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She gave me and Junior Indian names, too. I am wind between ears. And I am eager beaver. Yeah, and I'm stuck in hell. <laughs> what? What's this? Well, I'm just uh, noticing your aura is very muddy and charcoaly and negative and angry and judgmental, laced with hostility and rage. <laughs> I'm going to call you Dark Cloud. <laughs> and I'm going to call you a cab. <gasps> Thank you, big son. Let's begin. 
What are you doing now? You're going to set the house on fire. No, no. I'm just removing all of the impurities and bad energies. There's no bad energy in this house. Oh, I am noticing a big cesspool of negativity right here. Okay, you know what? Listen, listen, listen. This can't be good for the baby, okay? I feel like a smoke spare room. <laughs> Me too. Let's eat. Oh, shut up. Please take a seat. On the floor. Right. <laughs> we will begin our session with an ancient Mayan birth song to welcome the baby from his particular plane to our particular plane and begin this journey that we call the birthing process. And begin. Can we sing the hymn song? <laughs> Song. That's Michael Jackson slowed down. Mama say my star Hey, Doc Flat. I know Michael Zip Jackson. Zip it. Zip it, please. Wind between the ears. Yes, Mrs. Breeze? As the seed giver, it is your responsibility to soothe eager beaver in her time of stress. Summer Breeze presents you with this precious feather. Run it over her like so. Any time she seems to become aware of the stabbing pain of the beauty of the birth experience. <laughs> oh, wow. It's very relaxing. I, I feel so peaceful. It's really. Dark cloud. Yes, Miss Breeze. It is very important that the mother-to-be's chakras remain open during the birth process. Here is some tatuti oil. Where'd you get this from? Some Mayan king? No, I got it at Wall Bounce. Two ninety nine. <laughs> it is your responsibility to use this oil to keep her third eye and heart chakras open. You know what? There's only going to be one chakra that needs to be open, and I'm not going anywhere near that with oil. Here. <laughs> I will do it. Oh, here. Eager beaver. We now begin to simulate the birthing experience. Wind between ears. Yes. Please join Big Sun and Dark Cloud and Summer Breeze in an energy-releasing dance to facilitate the flow of chi. You know what? This is crazy. I, I ain't gonna participate. Oh, please, Mr. Cloud, this is important to us. It takes the whole community to have a successful natural birthing experience. <laughs> Be free! Hear the beat of the universal heart. Listen to your impulses. Let them move you to your right. Let them move you to your left. And back to turn. Just slide to the left. Just slide to the right. Now it's time to grab. It's time to grab. It's Woodstock here. It's your yeah, daddy. It's Woodstock here. It's your daddy. That is not the rock dance. Look, this is crazy. The whole idea of having a baby at home is just ridiculous. It's dangerous. Why are we doing this? I don't like the idea either, but this is what the kids want to do, and we should support them. Mom, Dad, I think the little twerp you call my sister is stealing my stuff. Did you see her steal it, Claire? No, but some of my lipsticks and perfume have mysteriously disappeared off my vanity. Are you sure you haven't misplaced them? No, I haven't misplaced them. I'm 18, not 40. Hey, do you mind? I'm 40, and your mother's going to be 40 in about 18 years. Okay? So your mother and I have some important things that we're talking Please. about. What could be more important than my sister stealing my perfume? Everything else. Now go. Go upstairs. Leave us alone. That's it? Yeah. 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 Look, if you want to come back with some concrete evidence, then come back and see us, okay? Okay, I will. I'll prove it to you guys. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> What are you guys up to? We're trying to figure out a way to get this baby to come out. You know, I remember my mother saying that if you walked around the house in a full squat position, it made the baby come faster. You should try that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll try anything at this point. 
Okay. Yeah, like that, yeah. Like this? Right. Now, now, take that leg and make a full circle step. Now, do the other leg. Okay. Now, slap this thigh with your hand. Now, slap the other thigh. Grunt. Mm. That's good. Now, put it all together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does all of this really make the baby come faster? No, it just makes you look like a sumo wrestler. Wow, <laughs> oh, that's not funny. I'm miserable. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have an idea. Uh -oh. oh, God. If you want to lure a mouse out of a hole, you lure him out with cheese, right? We're talking about a baby here, Jim. Let me finish, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> now, if you want to lure a baby out of a womb, you lure him out with something babies like. Cookies. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? A chocolate chip cookie? Boy, that sure looks good. If I was a baby in a womb, I'd come out with this little treat. Come on. Come on, little one. Come on. <laughs> what? You don't think it'll work? <laughs> Ooh, it's gone. The baby must have came out and snatched the cookie away. Well, your mother ate the cookie. Oh. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Our phone crashed an interesting tidbit of information. And what's that? Well, there's this Italian restaurant called Mama Bambini's. <laughs> the legend has it there that there's a meal that induces labor. And what's their specialty? Fetus chini? <laughs> <laughs> Baby air pasta. <laughs> Infant jelly. <laughs> Chicken and waffles. <laughs> waffles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Lord knows we need to get this baby born. Okay, you know what? I'll make reservations for the night. Chicken and what? Boy, I'll kick you right off of that chair. <laughs> This auto shopper. <laughs> Thanks for the new perfume, Mom. Oh, girl, you welcome. <laughs> it smells great. <laughs> I'm gonna run over to Erica's. I'll be back in time to go to dinner with you guys. See you later. Your embryoni. Oh, it was very placent. Ah, oh. <laughs> get it? Placent. <laughs> what about you, Franklin? You like your surf and turf meal? The steak was pretty good, but I'm not too keen on fish, so I didn't care for the sea section. <laughs> the meal you selected was quite unusual. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. It appeased the odd in me. <laughs> get it? <laughs> the I know one thing. Those hot peppers they put in my dish had the baby doing somersaults. Yeah, maybe I'll flip out on the table. <laughs> what was taking Katie so long in the bathroom? What did she do, falling? <laughs> the baby's not flipping around anymore. I don't think it's going to happen tonight. Oh, be patient, sweetie. It'll happen. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> What happened? I planted some skunk scent in a perfume bottle, and Light Fingers McGinnis over here stole it. You said you want a proof? Take a whip. Oh, no, I'm to You know what? I'm gonna have to scrub you with tomato juice. Pine, a pine tree. Don't worry, my little stick weed. I still love you. Well, I do consider this a test of our relationship. Oh. I'm contracting her. Oh my God, she's in labor. Are you in labor? Yeah, I think that's oh, okay, yeah. okay, hey, 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 baby, oh. I have the magic feather feel calm. Feel peace. Get out of Like a man. Okay, okay. You have to stay calm, okay. all right? Now, let's get her home because time is critical. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Get to New York. 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 Get to New
It's an acquired odor. It's kind of like having your own fart run around with you. <laughs> Never mind her. We got to get this one off her feet. She's about to have a baby any second. Come on, hurry up. Sir, mm -hmm. I've been doing this for a long time. Just stand back and let me handle my business, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, only one person go in there with her. Look, okay, that's, that's you. Me. No, hey, hey, come in. Come in. Come in. What's wrong with you? Good. What's the matter? I'm scared, Daddy. Look, it's okay to be scared, but this is going to be the most wonderful moment of your life. Now, I want you to go in there with Vanessa. Hold her hand, look her in the eye, and comfort her, okay? All right, I will. Son, you're gonna walk in there, boy. You're gonna come out a man. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Dad. Oh, one more thing. Huh? When she's giving birth, whatever you do, don't look down. Yeah, but it's the Don't get curious. <laughs> well, I seen trust me, you know what? <laughs> well, Hear what I'm saying. <laughs> but don't do it! Okay. Oh, okay. He gonna look. <laughs> Fuff. <laughs> Katie, you stink. <laughs> Vanessa, what are you doing here? You still look pregnant. Don't say that. It takes a while to drop the weight, stupid. It's okay. Oh. I am still pregnant. It was a false alarm. Oh. Really? Yeah, the doctor said to go back home. I'm not ready yet. My water hasn't broken. I'm not even dilated yet. How did he explain all the pain you were in? He said she had Tony Braxton's hips. What? No, he said I was having Braxton Hicks contractions. What's that? I believe I can elaborate. <laughs> it's a false labor first described in 1872 by British gynecologist John Braxton Hicks. Well, thank you, Captain Knowledge. <laughs> So what comes next? Well, in 1873, Braxton Hicks got run over by a runaway horse cart. Ironically, when he got to the hospital, they thought he was raking. <laughs> you gonna leave me hanging? Yeah. I want to know what happens next with Vanessa. Well, I believe I can answer that. We go home and we wait. Come on. Oh, Watch out for her. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Leave her in the hospital. Maybe they can operate some of that. Hi, Daddy. Is it safe in here? Did you get that skunk smell off you? Yeah, that and three layers of skin. I feel wrong. Well, that's the price you pay for taking things that aren't yours, which, by the way, is called stealing. I wasn't stealing. I was gonna bring the things back. I just wanted to be like Claire. What's wrong with being like Katie? Katie's just a boring little kid. And Claire's a beautiful girl who gets lots of attention. Look, Claire is 18 years old. That's why she can wear lipstick and perfume. Before you know it, it'll be your turn. But for right now, just enjoy being a kid. Okay. You know, I think it's really sweet that you idolize your sister. But you have to learn to respect the right to her property. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to Claire in the morning. Good. Now give me a kiss and let me tuck you in. Where's Katie? Where's Katie? There she goes. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Claire doesn't get tucked in anymore. She doesn't? Nope. That's reserved especially for my little baby girl, Katie. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Jay, she still got that stink on her. Uh-oh. What's wrong? I think it's time. Time for what? Hammer time! <laughs> oh, 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 baby! Oh, baby time. <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. 
Breathe, relax. Breathe deeply. Sorry, muscle arm. Then it is hammer time. No, he said I was having Braxton Hicks contractions. What's that? I believe I can elaborate. Well, in 1872, 